All right, I'm here with Coach Jasmine. You doing good tonight? I'm doing great. Which team we got here? We got our youth team team tonight. Wow, they look like a fiery little bunch, huh? They are a fiery bunch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they just got done with the competition, didn't they? They did get just done with the competition. They just are coming back from America's Best Nashville, um, where they actually placed first this weekend. Um, they hit a dynamic routine, no deductions whatsoever. Um, they did it with a smile and came out with a bang. Wow, they had to be pretty excited about that, didn't yeah. they? And they also got a bid to U.S. Finals this competition. So really? they get to pick a competition where they want to go to from either Indianapolis or Pensacola or over in Virginia Beach. Well, now they're real excited about Oh, they're super excited <laughs> about that. That's great. Now, what, give us a little bit about your cheer background, Coach. Um, I actually started here when I was a freshman in high school. I cheered here at Clarksville Cheer Extreme. And then from here, I worked really hard after busting back handswings over and over again um, <laughs> to actually graduating and doing good here. And I went over and cheered at Austin Peay State University under Shandy Ellis. Brown, where um, we finally took that program back to the collegiate level at Nationals in Daytona, where we came back and placed fifth place and overall, which was a great thing for us. Wow, that is great. Now, um, how's the uh, transition been from, from competitor to coach? Um, from competitor to coach, it's been a real smooth transition. I've always had um, a real good parent orientation behind me. They always backed me whatever I said. It was always really weird trying to get the older kids to say, hey, you're a coach now and you're not my peer. But as the years ran on, I can understand I connect with the kids really well. Um, so I've actually begun to love it even more, not only working with the kids, but actually being a positive role model to a generation that's kind of out there lost and want to go with what's going on on TV and trying to switch that to being responsible and to make sure they know that they're the next leader so they have to actually walk like a leader and talk as a leader as well. That, that's a great, great answer. Now, brag about your kids a little bit here. What do you got Oh, here? this group of kids have probably been together since they were minis. Um, these girls work hard all the time. They not only have backhand sprints, almost squad backhand sprints, but these girls are dedicated to staying in this gym with private lessons and tumbling class, working on tuts and things. They really look up to their older um, teams, especially the senior girls, trying to make sure that one day they're on that level five team competing at Worlds one day. So this is a great group of girls, and we're hoping when there's time for them to go to college that they're ready to go to any college they want to because they've worked so hard since a young age. That's great. Coach, we appreciate your time. Not a problem. Thanks.